Kate Middleton's style evolution has been widely documented, transforming from Sloan Ranger to designer darling since coming into the public eye. Everything she wears sells out in mere minutes, whether it's her favorite classic white trainers, one of her gorgeous coats, or the dress she wore to Pippa Middleton's wedding. But have you ever noticed that when it comes to her jewelry, the Duchess of Cambridge is really quite understated, and that she wears the same pair of earrings with pretty much every outfit? Kate's statement drop pearl earrings come up again and again, proving that she is fond of the dainty custom-made accessory. They're a combination of Anishka pearls, and hoops from Kiki McDonough, and if you look closely you'll see that she has worn them to everything, from official royal events to days out with her family. Whether she's wearing a floor-length gown or casual day dress, Kate has been sporting these gorgeous earrings since 2012, so they're officially a royal jewelry staple. The Duchess is a fan of Kiki McDonough, having worn a pair of the British designer's heart-shaped earrings, on Valentine's Day this year to in Raff Basin Cambridgeshire. Kate's influence on the fashion industry is evident. Over the years, she has managed to turn small British businesses, into internationally renowned brands, by simply wearing one of the brand's items. However, it has been a double-edged sword, for some clothing companies. Daniela Hillo, founder of the British label Lissa London, and creator of Kate's famous blue engagement announcement dress, blamed the Kate Middleton effect, for the closure of her business in 2015. She told the Daily Mail, Issa was a niche brand. We had a loyal following, but in 2008, in 2009 we were in serious financial trouble, when Kate wore that dress everything changed. The bank refused to give me credit, and the factory was screaming for me to pay its bills. I left because I couldn't take any more, I felt so stressed that my hair went white and started falling out. I was broken by the end of it. Hello continued, I had a great business, which I'd built up on my own over a decade. To watch it evaporate was heartbreaking. I took two years out and didn't design a thing. It was too painful.